Chris Kirk playing his second shot. How about this? How about this, Chris Kirk? All right. I felt so prepared when I got out to the PGA Tour. I just sort of hit the ground running. I knew what to expect. I knew that, hey, this really isn't much different than the web.com tour. And I knew that if I could play great out there, then I could play great out here. That's a testament just to how great the web.com tour is. Now in his second season on the PGA Tour, Chris Kirk earned his tour card as a member of the 25 on the web.com tour in 2010, finishing second on the money list that season. But the former University of Georgia standout was not an overnight success after turning pro. I'd had a little bit of success my rookie year, played okay, and then had a terrible year. My second year in 2009, I finished about 175th on the money list. During his first two seasons on the web.com tour, Kirk made just 14 cuts in 32 events, with only one top 10, before quickly turning his game and his career around. It was a, a combination of getting back to basics and back to fundamentals and, and back to the things that made me successful in college. And then that kind of came together and in 2010 was a great year. That just was an amazing feeling, going into every tournament saying, you know, if I play well, I think I've got a chance to win here. And when he did, claiming victories twice in 2010, first at the Fort Smith Classic and later the Knoxville New Sentinel Open en route to earning his ticket to the PGA Tour. Two wins this year doesn't surprise anybody. He's talented enough to go out on the PGA Tour and have a lengthy and successful career. The early returns have been positive as Kirk notched four top tens in 28 starts as a rookie in 2011, highlighted by an unusual victory at the True South Classic. On the last hole, I was very nervous. I laid it up at about 15 feet and putted it down to about an inch away. Traditionally, the player that's winning is going to finish out last, and he had, he still probably had about a 10-footer for birdie. It never crossed my mind to mark a putt from one inch away. I mean, it literally was sitting right on the edge of the hole. Chris Kirk is your winner. I should have marked it, and I could have made it a little more entertaining. The win, while lacking for style points, helped vault Kirk to 42nd in the final FedEx Cup standings that season fourth amongst rookies. Winning is kind of the number one priority, but I also played a lot of bad golf last year, missing 12 cuts. So his primary goal for 2012 was a simple one, to play more consistent golf. Kirk off to a good start. He responded by missing just six cuts and 26 starts with four top tens, and another top 50 finish in the FedEx Cup standings. I see that as trending upward. I didn't win this year, but I feel like I'm getting more and more comfortable and my game is slowly starting to be a little bit more consistent, which is great. And that's how I felt that year 2010 on the web.com tour. That's really what I want to get back to.